Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy video. We will talk about how in the Trader Zort, how scammers will do anything for virtual Lumions, and how even the most trusted people shouldn't be trusted at all. A few days ago, a YouTuber named Sun Lando got scammed out of his Gamma Halloween Protagon by one of his most trusted friends being on his account and trading it away. This led to lots of shenanigans which almost made Sun Lando quit the game altogether. This even led to lots of people hating on Llama Train Studios moderators for not trade banning the scammers more often. This video is for y'all to hear what I thought about the situation and how a few changes could help stop scammers altogether. Let's first talk about the problem with trading in the trade resort. Trading in the trade resort sucks and scams happen often. The biggest reason why scams happen is because there are a maximum of four trade spots per trade. And when a trade results for more than four Lumions, they would have to back out and then trade again, which could result into the trader leaving the game and scamming the other person out of a rare Lumion. These are the most common ways scams happen in the trade resort. And the way you could stop getting scammed is by not allowing any offers that allows more than four Lumions. This will decrease the chances of scamming by a lot. This problem is also a very easy to fix. If Llama Train Studios just adds more assets to the table, like 8 spots, 10 spots, or more, more complex trades can happen without the chances of scamming. I know that this section in the video isn't part of the controversy that has happened a few days ago, but I am adding this to not only spread awareness about scamming, but to also give Llama Train Studios an idea to fix this problem. While these are common ways to get scammed, that isn't what happened to Sun Lando. Sun Lando is a fast-growing Lumion Legacy content creator. He has gained almost 1,000 subscribers in a month, which is some crazy growth for a Lumion Legacy content creator. He streams a lot, and he also makes videos about his rare finds. He also had a friend that he trusted for over three years up to this point, and they would hunt on each other's accounts to either get rare Lumions or trade. This is what eventually led to Sun Lando getting scammed, and that's how he lost everything, including his Gamma Halloween Protagon. The devs would respond to this by giving everything back to Sun Lando, except for his Protagon, which is just a huge slap in the face for Sun Lando. Even worse, these moderators wouldn't even trade ban the scammers, which will result into them scamming more people in the future. Lucky HD made a video about this, if y'all are curious, link to it is in the description below. Lumion Legacy does actually have a trade board in their trade server. Here's a picture of it, and this sparked my interest. The rules that are that all trades are final, and to not allow other people to log into your account, which is what happened to Sun Lando. In Rule 6, it says that they cannot help return a Lumion to you if these rules are broken. And Sun Lando broke Rule 4. This isn't any hate towards Sun Lando. He is just another person who wants to play Lumion Legacy. But he broke the rules, meaning that he shouldn't have been given back his Lumions. I am happy that Lucky HD did step in and eventually got Sun Lando his Protagon back. But the devs didn't have to do anything to Sun Lando to get his Protagon back. Because he broke the rules. People in the comment section were giving the devs a lot of hate for not giving San Sun Lando his Protagon back. And by not trade banning the scammers. And I can agree that Llama Train Studios should focus more on trade banning the scammers. But Sun Lando should have never let his friend play on his account in the first place. Thankfully, this controversy does have a happy ending. Lucky HD and Successful Arc stepped in and got Sun Lando his Protagon back, which is an awesome moment. With all of the bad eggs in the Lumion Legacy community, there are always tons of good people that will help people when needed, which is awesome. The biggest thing I want to say about this video is to never trust anyone. It doesn't matter how trusted your friend is. It doesn't matter how big or popular this person is. Always play on your account and never, I mean never, let other people play on your account. The best way to stop scamming in the trade resort is to spread this message and to remind people that some people cannot be trusted. I think this is my first ever time that I talk about Lumion Legacy trading. And I will say it, this will probably be my last time I talk about Lumion Legacy trading. 
So this video is a once in a blue moon moment for y'all. Hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. The links to everyone's channels will be in the description below. And I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!